Hey y'all, okay, so I lost the clip before this, but I was pretty much just um, getting my wig laid and all the things. Now I'm about to do my makeup so y'all can just, you know, get ready with me or whatever. Yeah, you guys, so anyway, y'all, so I, you know, I told y'all that I work for a corporate job because of the holidays that we have been off, so I won't be back at work until Monday. So I've had time to like, we'll stop. Um, yesterday, I didn't do anything. Um, happy Indigenous People holiday. Um, and yeah, me and my son, my girl, well, my oldest daughter doesn't live in the state. We moved from our home state. So my oldest daughter, who is an adult, stayed in our home state. And then my middle daughter is going with her dad for the Thanksgiving break. So it was just me and my son so it was a very quiet day a very calm day and my first day without having all three of my kids with me I mean my first year not having all three of my kids with me so you know I mean it was what it was but we chilled I said all that to say that we chilled um didn't do much all day oh sorry this is Milani, Milan, Milani. I don't know. Y'all know what I'm talking about? I got this from Walmart, I think. Walmart or Target. Um, and it is Erase Base Blemish, Blemish Control Primer. And I'm just putting it on my face because I'm about to put makeup on. Right? Okay? 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 Okay, so I got to catch up on some true crime and just like think without thinking about work stuff. Um, well, I did do some work for my business earlier, you know, in the day that never stops, but I was able to do some other things and I'm really into spirituality and all that. So girl, I was watching some lady, um, her name is Sloan Bella and I found her girl on from Instagram because somebody had played a clip whenever they was talking about the Diddy situation and all of that, Kim Porter, blah, blah, blah. And so I just really been into her um, because, you know, some of these psychics, some of these spiritual people don't really be that. You know what I'm saying? So um, as I was watching her, it was just something in her that seemed like authentic. So I've been, I, I was just watch, kind of binge watching her a little bit yesterday. And it was something that she said, which is something that we all know. And that was that our body, we, of course, we have our soul. And then we have our physical body that is here on this plane, uh, in the world. You know what I'm saying? In this dimension, whatever. Um, and then after the body dies and the spirit, you know, goes on the energy, either if it's, you know, job is done, if it's... Um, paid its karmic debt and all of that then you know the energy is you know released and it's free to pass over to the next side of night and wonders okay so i was thinking y'all what if have y'all ever heard and i know y'all have because we all have it, either you've heard it or you said it or you've witnessed it whatever you've had it said to you um where people say um you changed you're not the same anymore you're not the same person i don't even know you anymore stuff like that right so I was thinking, what if, because you know, okay, whenever we come here, we are here for a purpose, to, to serve a karmic debt of our own from a past life. This is my belief, y'all. This is not fact. This is, you know, to, to each their own. You believe what you believe. I believe what I believe. No disrespect will be tolerated. No disrespect is given, right? So um, when we enter this plan, we come into this, you know, into this body, into this life, um, we're here to pay a karmic debt. We're here for a purpose to, um, complete a cycle, what, what have you. So I was thinking, what if we complete those cycles, right? We heal, we again, pay the karmic debt, whatever. And our soul, that energy is free to release itself and to move on and go on. So the, the spirit, the, it, that energy dies off or it goes to the next dimension, whatever, to the other side, whatever, okay? What if we receive a new energy or a new energy is brought into us, a new soul, what have you, is brought into us and we're not the same person. While we're still in the same physical body, we're not the same person. And our mission now is a completely new, different 
mission, which causes us to be different. You know what I'm saying? In our energy and the way that we move and the way that we think and the way that um, we, you know, interact with people, all of the things. Okay. And I'm like that, you know, so when people say, oh, you change, you different. I don't know you. You're right. You're right. I'm not the same person. I'm not the same soul. I'm not the same energy. That shit is dead and gone. It's gone to the other side. It's relinquished. Okay. It's duty is done. <laughs> it's karmic debt is paid. You know, it just had me thinking like, I wonder, like, doesn't that make complete? Y'all tell me that don't make sense. Tell me that don't make sense. Okay. Just tell me. I did all that talking and I was not even doing nothing. Okay. So boom. Of course, now I don't see my, oh, here it is. Okay. So, LA girl, Pro Conceal, y'all know. Y'all know, y'all know. This is the popular, the popular thing. So, I have another one too, y'all. This bump is driving me, and this another one over to the side, but I guess it's on the side over there. I can't see it as well, but this right here, driving me up a wall, baby. And I'm actually almost out of this. I probably should go, um... Try to see if I can find some for the low low since it is um Black Friday. We might got some sales going on. Child, I, to be honest, I'm really not interested in none of it. Like a part of me wants to, but then it feels overwhelming. I'm one of those people like if something feels too overwhelming or too much, then I just don't want to do it at all. Like. It just turns me all the way off. Like, if I get to... And a lot of times, it's just me and my mind. But if I psych myself out, it's like, grow. Grow. Okay, so this is usually all I will do. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to do a little nose contour, too. Because my nose... Oh, come on. I ain't going to get into it, girl. Another day. Um... I don't even want to, like, do under my... This eyebrow looks darker, don't it? Let me go in. I don't know if it looks darker for real or if it's just the lighting. I don't think it looks darker for real. Tripping. Okay, so... Taking my beauty blender. And... Oh, you know what? I'm going to do this for the video, too. So... Oh, I don't want to put nothing on this side, though, because I already got some little acne stuff going on. So, I was going to do the dark, what is this, contour or conceal or whatever that says contour on here. So, corrector, contour corrector. Whatever this is, I was going to use that to kind of, you know, but, and I gained so much weight because I actually have really high cheekbones naturally, like my facial structure, um, but yeah, I mean. I'm fat, so I ain't fat, but I've gained weight, so my face is fat. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I wonder, like, does anybody else think like that when it comes to spirituality? Like, I darn sure do not believe that this is the only life, that this is our only experience like our energy this is the only this is it like we're here now nothing before nothing after because have you ever heard old folks say like um that baby been here before or have you ever seen yourself like how did this child know some or have you ever had um like deja vu about something and it's like what the what the what you know like that shit is real to me you know to me Cause why would you ever think that this is it like i think that that's kind of like small-minded or i don't want to say small mind but it's, it's simple okay it's simple to think this is the only life this is all there is this is it like this is the only there's no such thing as an alien or extraterrestrial there's nothing no life outside of what we're what's right here when we know for a fact like there are creatures that live and thrive in the water. You know what I'm saying? So, or whatever, in different climates and different. So why would you think? You know, I just think it's kind of simple, but 
everybody don't think like that okay so boom you see the difference that uh, i like just brightening up my under eyes to me makes me look so much better because auntie is getting old okay auntie is getting old and i don't even think that it's getting old but i just work a lot i've been working a lot you know i do a lot and honestly i'll be stressed out i've been stressed out I try not to allow that, like, stress to take me over or take me under or, like, you know. But at the same time, girl, this is um, AOA powder. It's like a yellow powder. That's what I use to set with. And I also have this one that I really like as well. This is, I don't even remember where I got this from. Black Radiant. So, I got this from Walmart, probably. So, um, yeah. I like this. And it's brown. So, you can see the difference. But I got this from, like, that dollar. Here, I don't know where y'all are from. But I know that in Oklahoma and in Texas, where I am now, they have, um, like, this dollar makeup store. And I can't remember what the name of the store is, but... Everything in there is like, I don't think there's anything in there over $5. So, even like brushes, I got this brush from there. And it works wonders. Like, it's not like a cheap brush. It's not like it, um, of course I got her on there. But it's not like it, um, like the, you know, the bristles or anything are like coming out or it's giving me any kind of issue. It's really good. So, yeah. what I'm doing. That's the only thing I hate about this powder girl. It'll be going everywhere. So I'm just gonna put that up under there. Sometimes I feel like I'd be extra for dipping twice, but I feel like I got to for each eye. And then since I did my nose and my T area gets a little oily. Should I do some lashes? Sometimes I feel like I look better without lashes. I feel like lashes be like looking a little... Mm, I think I gotta find the right lashes. The lashes that I have right now, which I got from Amazon. Um, I mean, I've been wearing them clearly, but... I like wear them once. I wear them for a couple hours and then not wear them no more. But this is what they look like. Which I love the fluff, but I think they're too long. They're too long for me. So if they were a little bit shorter... These will be good. And actually, I'm going to get on Amazon. They might be, oh, it is Black Friday and they might be on sale too. So, I need to do that. All right, what else do I need to do? Here lately, I've been doing a little bit of blush whenever I put on makeup. So, I'm going to do that. But first, oh, I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some mascara. This is Uncommon Cosmetics. I got it from um, Ross <laughs> in a three pack. I got this one. This one and then a black one and the black one it broke. Mm, I thought it was in here. But anyway, the the spoolie thing broke on the black one. So can't use that. But I mean it was from Ross. I think it was like it was just a few dollars. So I ain't missing much. But I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like this i feel like girl i didn't get it on my i feel like i feel like I, maybe I, should i be uh, closer to y'all i feel like i wasn't close enough huh and then i keep looking over here sorry sorry guys totally sorry It like dries super fast, which I guess can be considered good, but I don't like that. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Mm, 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 mm. And that's the curl one. And this one is the volumizing.
And y'all know what else, y'all, that I have noticed as I've gotten older? Because I've always, okay, I've always kind of been a loner. I've always had friends, like a small one, two, um, you know, friend or two or whatever. You know, me and my best friend in my adulthood. You know, me and my best friend. But we both have our own lives. We got kids. We don't talk, like, every day or anything like that. But the older that I'm getting, or maybe it's just the phase, the stage in life that I am right now. I really like desire, like that feminine connection, like that connection with other women. Um, and it sucks because I don't really know how. I don't want to say I don't know how to be a friend, but I don't know, like, because while I crave that connection, like the pressure of like feeling like you need me to talk to you every day, you need me to text you every day. I need to, you know what I'm saying? Like we have to be in constant contact kind of like triggers my anxiety and I don't like that. But I also desire like that feeling of being connected to other women and like that sisterhood and just having that closeness of knowing even if we don't talk every day. Okay. Do I want to put... I don't even know if this is the right... Y'all, when I tell y'all, I just be doing some shit, okay? I just be winging it. And sometimes it be cute, sometimes it don't. I really like my... See, y'all can see, like, my... I got this one and this one on this side. Got one there, one there, and one there. So, like, in my chin area, and then these two. And it's ugly. This is a mole right here. But that's um, not a bump. But that and that... Two under there, and then that one. So like five little dot the dots here, and then two up here. It's just that's crazy to me. Like, what is the what's the deal, pickle? Why why are we doing this? Why are we doing this? Why I gotta be like that? Why my skin just can't be nice and clean? But then I don't want to put makeup on, even though I wash my face at night. I feel like. I feel like um, I don't want to be too light up under there. Like, I don't want my, I don't like the way the lighting looks. Okay, see, that's a better depiction of what it looks like. Um, uh-uh. I, um, I feel like when I put a full face of makeup on, like, it's going to, like, irritate my skin or something. Even if I, I feel like it still be deep in my pores. Cause I have big pores and I'm trying to get that under control too. That's probably why I tend to like break out, but I'm trying to get that under control too. The stuff that I got is supposed to be, it's, oops, it's supposed to be making, it's supposed to make your pores smaller. Um, but yeah, I feel like that makeup be deep within the pores and the crevices of my skin. And I just feel like, oh my God, my face is going to break out. Girl, I'm traumatized because it's pretty much back under control, except for like when I have these little breakouts or whatever. But girl at um, quarantine, what was that? What is it called? But yeah, when we had to do, you know, back in the 2020, um, girl, my face broke out so motherfucking bad. So motherfucking bad, bitch. And I was like, what in the fuck? is going on here i mean i'm talking about so bad i felt the ugliest that i've ever felt in my whole life you know i just could not understand um and i, I it was nothing that i could do i was trying all kind of stuff turmeric i was doing everything girl everything and it was still there like the marks was still there it was like the breakout it like it's like my face broke out but it left it broke out a lot like here and it left <clears throat> a lot of marks. So while the bumps like weren't active anymore, let me just go back so you can see the whole thing. I feel like my, is my part a little bit off? Oh, do I wanna leave it big like this? Do I wanna leave it big like this? I kinda do. But I wanna show y'all how it looks when it's like wet too. But this is bomb. I like it better like this. Y'all, I might have to do a, 
show you teach me how to duck teach me teach me how to duck me look i got damn oh grow all over the place because i didn't remember okay so i got this little thing that i stole from my door well actually she left it in my car is what happened and yeah so it's mine now but it's blush from my my oldest daughter and my kids thank you to my kids okay so boom what a difference a wig and a little makeup makes okay um do I want to have it like kind of like that or do I want to leave it in the middle oh I kind of like the flip over come through flip over and I don't want to part it though I just want to kind of flip it over and just let it be like that And this is a four by four. Yeah, it's a four by four closure. No major baby hairs. I'm not doing none of that. Just let it be how it is around the edges. Very natural. Give them very natural. Um, and now I guess I just need a little a little lip gloss. And I'm giving it what the girls need. I'm giving the girls what the girls need or whatever. However it go. So uh, let me do that because my lips, oh, lips is dry, powder everywhere. Okay, y'all. So this is it. If you are interested in purchasing this unit, um, I will link it in the description. This wig is three hundred and seventy-five dollars, y'all. I've had this wig for over a year, or almost two years. Almost two years at the beginning of the year to be almost two, or it'll be two years. So, I've had this wig for almost two years, and it still is bomb. It's super full. Like, it's just, it's pretty. And whenever it's curled or whenever, you know, you want, if you want the wet look, it does that too. And it will stay. It will stay. Okay? The curls do not puff up on you. Um, but, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching my little get ready with me. If you like these type of videos, let me know. I know that this was my first one, so it was kind of all over the place. But if you enjoy, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a rose in the comments. And yeah, peace out and light. Y'all have a good one. Bye.